Have you ever heard the phrase, only God can judge me? Let's dig into another modern day myth regarding this phrase because this one's actually true. Hey guys, it's Aaron back again with another stint take and hopefully you've seen that we're taking on some modern day myths that are really plaguing our society. The phrase, only God can judge me is one of those myths that starts with a giant nugget of truth. You see, ultimately as Christians, we know that God is the final judge. Psalm 75, seven says, it is God alone who judges. He decides who will rise and fall. And Isaiah 33, 22 says, for the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save us. God is the ultimate judge. However, typically when people come to you and say, only God can judge me, it tends to be an excuse for you to stay out of their business and let them do whatever they want to do. And in that mindset, the idea is a myth. As Christians, we are called to know what sin is, and when dealing with other believers, we are called to judge. The verse that is often referred to and is many times twisted in meaning is Matthew 7, verse 1. It says, do not judge others, and you will not be judged. It goes on in verse two, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use judging is a standard by which you will be judged. Friends, hear this clearly. This passage is not saying don't ever judge anyone. It's saying that when we judge others, we need to make sure that first of all, our own sins are taken care of so that we can clearly see and know what God's word is speaking to the situation. But also with whatever standard we judge, we will be judged. So let our standard be that of God as he has the final say. And if I still haven't convinced you that we do need to be judging those who claim the name of Jesus, take a look at these verses. John 7, 24, look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. Proverbs 31, 9 says, open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the acts of the poor and needy. And Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 to 17, give very detailed instructions about how to deal with someone once you've judged that they have sinned against you. We are called to judge fellow believers. We are called to love fellow believers as well. And we cannot effectively love our brothers and sisters in Christ if we just swallow the pill of, don't judge me and turn a blind eye to sin. The greatest truth is that we know Jesus loved people and he didn't turn a blind eye to sin. So encourage others to be more like Jesus. Call your friends up and out of sin, but do it in love, grace, and so much humility. Guys, ultimately, we all want to glorify God in every way. Thanks again for watching, and I would encourage you, go check out all of our Modern Day Myth videos and let us know what you think, or if you have any other ideas or comments or questions, put them down below, guys. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. If you want to learn more about this topic and many others, or about our cost-free stint internship, visit topbeckert.org slash stint.